Welcome to Near Doubles. In this lesson I'm learning to solve addition problems where two numbers are easily related to doubles. Let's start with this one here. 223 plus 217 is equal to something. Well now I need to think how could my doubles help me answer this question. Well 223 is very close to 220. To change 223 into 220, I subtracted 3. So I'm imagining a group here which has got smaller by 3. Now if this group's got smaller these by 3, these 3 have to go somewhere, so I'm going to pop them onto this side. This side is going to get 3 bigger. So that means 217 is going to become 220. And now you can see I've got some doubles. 220 plus 220, that's easy for me to solve. The answer to that is 440. So the answer to 223 plus 217 must be 440. Let's try another question a bit like that. Uh, 352 plus 348 equals something. Well, straight away you can probably see that both of these numbers are close to 350. So that's what I'm going to change them to. 350 plus 350. And this is how I got them. On this side, I took 2 away, took 2 off this 352, so it became 350, and on this side, I added 2, so 348 became 350. So the 2 from this pile was taken away and moved to this pile over here. Well now you can see I'm left with a much easier question to answer. 350 plus 350 is 700. So 352 plus 348 must be 700. Now let's try one which is a little bit different. Um, 119 plus 119. Alright, well now I need to think what doubles would help me answer this. 119 is very close to 120. So I think I'm going to change them both to 120, because that will make it much easier for me to answer. So to change 119 to 120, I had to add 1. And to change this 119 to 120, I also had to add 1. Now 120 plus 120, that's easy for me to answer. It's 240, but that's not the answer to 119 plus 119, because you can see that I made this side one bigger, but I also made this side one bigger, which means my answer is going to be too, too big. So now I need to take off those two that I added. So 240 minus 2 equals 200 and... 38. So the answer to 119 plus 119 is 238. Let's just have a look again why I'm subtracting 2. I'm subtracting 2 because I added 1 here and I added 1 here, so now I needed to take them off. Let's have a look at another one. This time let's do 301 plus 301. Well, just like last time, it's very easy to see that 300 plus 300 is going to be the doubles that will help me. Now, let's just work out how I've changed this question into this question here. Well, to change this 301 into 300, I had to subtract 1. And to change this 301 into 300, I also had to subtract 1. Now let's work out the answer to this easy question here. 
300 plus 300 is 600. But we know that 600 is not the answer to this because you can see that I took off one on this side and I also took off one on that side. So now I'm going to have to adjust for that. Well, to adjust for it, I'm going to have to add on 2. And the reason I'm adding on 2 is because over here I pretended that this 301 actually didn't have this 1 and it was just 300. And I pretended that this 301 also didn't have the 1. It only had 300. But now I have to add these amounts back on. So 600 plus 2 equals 602. So 301 plus 301 must equal 602. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.